then over time, I slowly but surely figured out I can't, you can't be all things to all people, right? And so I need to figure out who do I want to be? And what do I want my business to look like? What are my values, right? What are my core competencies? What are the things we're good at? Or what are the things we want to be good at? <clears throat> and then you have to make sure that those things align with needs, right? Is there a pro? I mean, I can't solve a problem that doesn't exist in the market. If there's a problem, meaning there's a family of four that values quality and they're willing to pay a little bit more and they have 50 pounds of laundry a week, great. That's my ideal avatar. And until you understand those things, you can't build a business model. You can have a business, but you can't build a business model. If you don't know, it's not a business model to just say, I'm going to, I want all customers to come do laundry in my laundromat. That's not a business model. So when you build a business model, then you can market to that business model, right? If you understand your model, you understand your ideal avatar or avatars, um, and you know what problem you're solving in the market, the market differentiators, I always call them, make what makes me and Queen City Laundry different than my competitors up the road. And there better be things that make you different, good, bad, and indifferent. <clears throat> Once you understand those things, then you market to those things. But if you don't understand your business model or don't have a business model or you're just winging it,